Is it true that you guys were supposed to be partners on Dancing with the Stars and then it just didn't pan out? Yeah. I mean, Brian was lined up to do last season of the show. And the story that we were told is that he was, you know, set to be my dance partner, which is wild. What's funny is, you know, Sharna has always had... um, uh, she's always made the choice of like, no matter who I'm dancing with, whatever's going on, I'm not going to cross that line. I'm not sure. going to become romantic with somebody. I'm not going to have feelings for somebody that way. And that would have been, if I had done the show, that would have been, uh, it, this wouldn't have happened. Well, then how did you meet? So we, ha- we, had a, we have a uh, business manager in common mm-hmm. and she came to myself one day and to Sharna the same day and was like, hey, I've got somebody, I have a client that you should meet. Mm-hmm. And so we ended up going and having coffee a few days later. It was supposed to be a few days, but then Sharna showed up a day early. I was on set, I was doing Masked Dancer and I was thinking that's not, that wasn't today. And then, and all- then she all of a sudden texted and was like, oh, that wasn't today, was it? Like, why did I have to realize (laughs) after sitting down at the table for like 15 minutes and I was like, I did not just do, just kidding. It's not Friday. She got a coffee though and she said it was great. He was great about it. And then when we actually sat down the day we were supposed to, Mm -hmm. we 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 ended up talking for like four and a half hours. We lost time. It was one of those like, wow, what just happened moments. And so we, we kept wanting more of that. Sharna, I read that one of the things you fell for in Brian was his desire to do good. Yes, definitely. Yeah. It, was, it was a big conversation for us when we, we spent a lot of time connecting and getting to know each other before we physically connected. You know what I mean? It was the first four dates before we kissed even. Yeah. So we spent wow. a time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I was Slow on The Bachelorette, so the I race. kissed everybody like the first week. You know what I mean? So I, I was mean, like, wow, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of the things we really connected on was you know, we have this amazing platform that we've been given from what we do. How can we do something good with it? And and it was cool to connect with another human like that. You guys picked up a new cause to support. Tell us all about hashtag search for smiles and the camp. It's a really cool thing. Uh, Search for smiles with Smile Train. We're excited to be involved with it because there's a new way of being able to be a part of a cause that doesn't cost you money. And that is by simply changing your search engine to this new one, True Heart, who are going to donate 80% of their profits to a good cause. And one of those is Smile Train and this Search for Smiles campaign. So this is a brand new thing. Everybody has the desire to help, but not everybody has the means to help, especially right now. Giving money is a really difficult thing after the last 12 months that we've had. So being able to simply just do what you do online and search the internet, you're powering donations to go to a good cause. And we felt like that is a really awesome thing right now to help people be a part of creating change in this world, you know? How can fans support this amazing cause? Well, you can go on, you can go directly to Smile Train and donate there if you want to, or literally you can just change your uh, your search browser to True Heart and, uh, and the profits that are just, and just search like you normally would. And the mm-hmm. profits, 80% of those profits will go to Smile Train and help kids and help adults and help smiles and, 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 uh, and fund amazing projects mm. around the world. You guys are helping kids get their smiles all over the world. So I yeah. have to naturally ask you, what makes you smile? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so for me, Sharna and my kids, um, and yay, <laughs> yay. And for me, what makes me smile is definitely Brian every day. And of course his boys, his three beautiful boys, they're incredible. Uh, And it's making other people smile. You know, that's part of also what I do with dance and telling stories. I've always loved to invoke emotions in other people. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.